I am the Almighty, Revelation chapter 1. I am either living them or dead, or hold them alive forevermore, Jesus said. I have the keys to death and hell. I'm a born-again Bible-believing Christian. 31 years ago, I accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Savior. Sometime after that, uh, I was convinced that I needed to be a, more of a public witness. At that point on, I realized that uh, preaching on the streets, whether people want to hear or don't want to hear, uh, I'm able to get the good news of the gospel to a lost and dying world. The Bible said that you say you have no sin. You deceive yourself. And the truth is not in you. I'm, I'm a salesman. I work for a company of uh, Springfield, uh, Massachusetts. I now work part-time about 30 hours a week because I'm in my middle age now. I figure it's time to slow down <laughs> at 71. About six to eight hours is my average I preach in the streets. And that's enough to make me hoarse sometimes. <laughs> and irritate enough people do. <laughs> the bad news about man's sin is not well received. And I think mean, people don't like to be told, they think that I'm telling them that they're a sinner, that it's God that's saying what we are. I've had people that uh, made obscene gestures towards me for years. <laughs> I don't want to be a hypocrite. I try to live my life as clean as possible, stay clean before the Lord, so that, that when I come on the street to have some power to preach, I'm in the right will of God, and I'm in the right frame of mind, my heart is right. Very important. Whether people, um, misconstrue what you're doing, don't understand, hate what you're doing, uh, you still have the heart to love them. I like to preach more. I still work. I have a family to take care of. I've got nine beautiful grandchildren. I'm a busy guy. If the Lord doesn't take me home before, I'm shooting to retire at 92. <laughs>